All right. My name is Lance Rogers. I'm from Berea, Kentucky. I appreciate y'all from having me out and checking my music out. This first song I'm going to do for you is called Lost You. wrote that one not too long ago yeah that one is uh that song means a lot to me lost you i've learned to you know take you know painful situations in life and put them into words and i know a lot of people that hear my songs man they they can relate to it i mean we're we're humans we got we we feel the same way we 
you know, life treats us the same way. And so when I write a song, it's, it's basically me working, my, working that out, working that out for myself. So for other people to say that they like it, it means a lot to me. Yeah, this next song I got for you is called Pretty Gone. I wrote this one uh, a few months back. It's a fun one. I started writing songs in 2018, and um, so I got I got a late start. So 2018, I wrote my first song. I wrote it's called Hey Betty. My grandpa and grandma grew up in um, Bell County, Kentucky, back in the day. You know, they my grandpa was born in I believe 1920, and uh, so he got tangled up in some trouble out there, and had to leave pretty quick. Like there's a there's a, a family that basically ran the town, and it was a wild west town, you know. And so he got tangled up in some stuff. He took my grandma and moved to Ohio, and he started a welding company. But that song, "Hey Betty," is kind of like in the song. He's like he has to leave suddenly, but he doesn't want to tell her exactly why until the end of the song. It's like I gotta go. So, I, but since then, since I wrote my first one, I've probably written I've probably written a hundred songs now. And I've, got, I've only got 10 of them out officially, but you know, I, I'll probably be getting to the studio real soon. All right, this next one is also kind of an up-tempo one. Um, I won't tell you exactly what it's about. I want you to figure it out. It's called Fire and Flame. Heavens opened up, and I heard him say her name. I could see a bank friend stepped into the rain. Lightning flashing in my mind, so I was just the same. The way I felt when she came here with her fire and flame, her fire and flame. Her fire and flame. Burning it 
Body is floating all around me, blowing in the wind. It's time to ride off in the breeze, light it up and start again. This fire and flame. This fire and flame. I heard him say her name. When I was in high school, I had a guitar, and I actually I had this cordless microphone that I battery-powered cordless microphone, so I stuck it on my acoustic guitar, and I'd play it through my home stereo, like some Nirvana songs and stuff. And uh, just, I never really learned how to play guitar, so it always frustrated me. And I, I, I actually tried to write a song in high school, and never finished it. It was about a girl that I was dating in Florida and, you know, it didn't work out, long distance relationship. And so I didn't, I didn't even think to write a song after that. And then I put, a, I started putting a couple cover songs out. Like, I love Chris Knight. I did a Chris Knight cover. And then like a, can't, I played Can't You See and I put it out there. And I had a lot of people saying, man, I didn't know you could sing. And um, that's, that's really what started the whole thing. You know, I've, I liked the feedback I was getting, and I figured, it, you know, if, I, if they like the songs that I'm putting out there, the cover songs, maybe they'll like something I would write original. And so I, I wrote Hey Betty and put it out there, and that was what started the whole thing. And, uh, you know, just social media, putting my songs out there and kind of, you know, getting a, a little bit of a following. And then when I started going out and playing gigs, it was fairly easy because people were f familiar with my songs. And even, even to this day, you know, I'll throw a couple covers in there occasionally, but when I play a show, it's going to be 90% originals. And that's what I try to, I try to preach that to, to all my friends. It's like, it's, it's nice to go out to a bar and hear some songs you're familiar with, but get them familiar with your songs. I wrote this with a guy named Stephen Scott. We, uh, he sent me an idea for a song. It was, he had gone to an open mic, and there was an older gentleman there that he uh, struck up a conversation with. And this guy had been in the scene years and years ago. And um, he was just going to the open mic just to play some songs. And uh, he was inspired to write some words down. And we, um, we came up with a song called Worn Out Old Sleeves. Call across the cavalcade at six on a Thursday. Made his way to the pub by the college on Main. He said his case by the back door as he shuffled across the wood floor. Fight through the early crowd just to put down his name. Born out 
He could feel the string break and it felt just like his last take. So he climbed off the stool and took a step of his ride. The clock on the back wall, it quit sometime last fall. Time kept on moving as he whispered goodbye. Well, if it wasn't for music, I would still be just nine to five. You know, I, had, I have a heating and air and refrigeration business that I, that I run. It's just me. And it's given me some flexibility to do my shows and everything. But if I wasn't, if music was out of the picture, I would probably just try to build that business up as big as I could get it and probably be very unhappy. This next song I got for you is called Outside the Lines. Um, this was the very first song that I ever put out. It is on my album. Uh, if you like it, just go check it out on Spotify. Outside the Lines, it's about a couple high school kids that, you know, they find each other and they're both struggling at home in their own ways. This is about their, uh, their time together. Took a long, slow draw off a Paul Mall in the shadows of a Friday night bleacher. One Converse chuck up against a pole, she was happy when no one could reach her. She kind of dug the way I wore my hair and the t tops on my old Trans Am. I thought about her when I chose what to wear, cause she likes ripped jeans and Ray Bans. Outside where the wild things run Outside we were children of the sun Outside where only we knew where We got what we wanted, didn't know we needed Didn't care about the lines we cheated Never let on about her lightning eyes, but she never wanted to go home. The faster we drove down memory lane, the tougher her James Dean heart grew. Some nights we walked the railroad tracks down to the river crest mill and wonder if we were the only ones living for the moment and all the rest.
authenticity. Don't try to be anybody else but yourself. Find your voice. Don't try to imitate another voice. It's already done. Chris Stapleton, you're not going to find another Chris Stapleton. You're not going to find another Tyler Childers. Find your voice. And that's my, that's my biggest advice. Um, a lot of people are afraid to do that because it, it's, it opens, you know, especially when you're a songwriter, you open your life up to other people. But that's really what people are going to latch on to is that authenticity and have fun with it. Don't take yourself too serious. There's going to be highs and lows. There's going to be times where you're just like, what am I doing? You know, am I, have I lost my mind? And yeah, you, you have lost your mind. It takes a little bit of craziness to do what we do. Uh, but, you know, if you're, if you're true to yourself, if you're, if you're true to your vision, you're going to get it. This song right here is one that I wrote with a girl named Jennifer Schmidt. It's about a case knife. And I think I just named it today, The Ballad of the Case Knife. It's a, it's a murder ballad. Um, you know, there's a, these small towns in Kentucky. I forget the exact name of them, but they, they would have everybody in town come out and they would trade guns and knives. And um, This song starts off there and takes a turn. Brought their knives to the courthouse on May. Drake and Bowie for case like a backroom card game. Pulled it for the moment, we carried them below. Into the hills where we dug gummy coal. I trade a knife without no. in haste can be broken the same October cross she turned down my name took up with a man his name on the door up the room where I laid him flat out on the floor I traded a knife without no by the ribs of that man I would feel in the fall of 19 I held in my hand one that would end come to be a man light is dim on the dark side of the moon in this cell block of trouble Back that 
trade a knife without no shun to kill. Trade it again for a blade sharper still. By the fall of 19, I held in my hand. One that would end company man. I killed that man. Case nice, man. They're a good one. Um, 